Hello, I'm Wells President Mark Schrader. What's the first step in starting a home mission? There's actually no single answer because every situation is different. We want to tailor the approach to meet the needs of the community. And no congregation illustrates that better than the new home mission in Richland Center, Wisconsin. It's a special day in the city of Richland Center. People are assembling for the very first worship service ever at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, our Wells Mission congregation here. You could just see the, uh, the smiles on everyone's faces that this is no longer in the distance, but it's here. Getting to this point has been the result of the Lord's loving blessings on the coordinated efforts of lay people, pastors, and Wells Home Missions. It's a journey that began more than three years ago. You might be seeing the first time our Synod has used robots as a way to connect with the community. It's part of a special camp focusing on science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM for short. The mission team at Richland Center recognized that a STEM camp would attract young families an important step in building a connection to the community, well in advance of the first worship service. God asks us to love each other, and when we do things like the STEM camp, when we do things like Easter for Kids, we're expressing that love for people by offering them things that maybe they can't get otherwise. I hope it shows the community that we're committed to being here and that we care about their well-being, their spiritual well-being, and their overall well-being too. Today's world is a little different than it used to be, and that um, maybe the approaches are a little bit different. You let it go when you're ready. The STEM camp was just one in a series of relationship building efforts here. The events also included monthly Mornings with Mommy gatherings, an Easter for Kids event, live nativities at Christmas time, and monthly Bible studies. We pretty much started uh, from the ground up, and our pastors and our local uh, missionaries and, and uh, uh, synod workers have helped us through this tremendously. So, by the time the first service was held, the congregation was already well known in the community, thanks to many volunteer hours and support from our synod, working in tandem by God's grace. And so seeing it today was like, wow, it's actually happened. That's just really it's such a blessing to see it and see it all fall together three years of showing our care and concern for the community uh, and, uh, and then building that towards the reason why we have that care and concern is for what Jesus has done for us. God willing, the next step for the congregation will be a church building here in Richland Center. But the groundwork is already in place, thanks to a team effort and a few creative ideas. It's important to note the lay effort that went into the new mission startup in Richland Center. It's a very common template, as members of nearby congregations volunteer their time and talents to help our Savior start a new mission church nearby. It's an outreach opportunity that's not far from home. To learn more about Wells Home Missions, visit wells.net forward slash home missions.